My name is Yuhan Wang. Today, I will be presenting an overview of our study, Association of Muscular Strength and Incidence of Type 2 Diabetes, which will appear in Mayo Clinic Proceedings. This is an analysis of a long-term prospective epidemiological study, the Aerobic Center Longitudinal Study. Some studies have reported that muscular strength is inversely associated with metabolic syndrome and obesity, which are diagnoses that often precede type 2 diabetes. Cardiorespiratory fitness is also inversely associated with incident type 2 diabetes. Therefore, we were interested in understanding the association between muscular strength and incident type 2 diabetes, independent of cardiorespiratory fitness. Our study followed 4,600 each participants for approximately 8 years. Our major finding was that, after adjusting for multiple relevant confounders, including cardiorespiratory fitness, participants with middle level of muscular strength had 32% of reduced risk of type 2 diabetes. However, there was no significant association between type 2 diabetes and the upper level of muscular strength compared with the lower third of muscular strength. Joint analysis examining the interactions between muscular strength and other baseline characteristics were also conducted. None of these interactions were significant, suggesting that the association between muscular strength and incident type 2 diabetes was not different by lifestyle factors or health conditions. What we learned from study was that moderate muscular strength but not upper muscular strength was associated with the reduced risk of development of type 2 diabetes, independent of cardiorespiratory fitness. These results indicate that very high levels of resistance exercise training may not be necessary to generate a considerable health benefits on type 2 diabetes prevention. More observational studies with larger sample size and randomized control trials on those response relationships of muscular strength and resistance exercise with type 2 diabetes among diverse populations are clearly warranted. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoy reading the article. We hope you found this presentation from the content of Mayo Clinic Proceedings valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our home page is www.mayoclinicproceedings.org. There you will find access information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.